Hi there and welcome to another video. This time we're looking at the HP 107W printer and this is a, a bit of a review, an unboxing and a setup all in one video. Um, I was looking for a small laser printer for a number of reasons which I might talk about a little bit later on but um, yeah this uh, is on the market at the moment in the UK and as you can see it's the HP LaserJet or HP Laser 107W the W standing for wireless if you can get one at the moment this is February 21 if you can get one they're anything between about 70 and 100 110 pounds uh, but they are quite difficult to get hold of at the moment the reason I wanted a laser is for the application uh, where this is going to be used, uh, it will be used uh, somewhat infrequently and I don't want a printer where every time I go to it uh, I have to clean the inks and everything, clean the heads and everything so I need it to just work um, and also I need a small footprint, a small uh, shape um, of, of printer uh, for reasons I won't go into. So as you open the box you can see there's quite a lot of paperwork that comes with it, the first sheet there is the setup for using a smartphone or iPad. They are quick codes which you can scan in. So again, we'll talk about that later on. Um, this is the main instruction sheet, which just tells you how to um, sort of do the basic setup, which we'll be going through. And then you do get a manual, which uh, I think is in various different languages as usual with these things, um, some conformity statements you do get a usb cable in as you can see which is quite unusual these days uh, but very good news and you also get a uk mains power lead and a continental power lead so we'll get on with the unboxing and the one of the principal reasons for buying this particular unit was its physical size and as you can see as it comes out the box the, the box is small enough but the device itself is really tiny which means you can pick it up and take it away this is going to be used in one of my um, workspaces uh, but only for part of the year and then I will need to actually pick it up and take it somewhere else and just from the point of view of giving you an idea of size that is a block of A4 paper and you can see the printer, the whole printer itself is not much bigger than that block, certainly in terms of the footprint. Um, and it's only about the volume of about three or four of those stacked up. So it's also very, very lightweight. So uh, from that point of view, I would thoroughly recommend it. So it's obviously poly wrapped or polythene wrapped. So the first piece of tape will just get you in there. So you can see how light it is. It's um, very small and very light. There are two pieces of tape on the front. Just be warned here that the first piece comes off uh, and then there's a piece, as you can see, running along the inside of the, of the top. The third piece of tape you can see does not come out until you have proceeded further and removed the toner so don't try and take this one off at this point uh, you can see as I open that up you can just see inside there's a little orange section uh, and this piece of tape actually attaches to that orange section there's a piece of polystyrene that comes out and another one on the other side and that piece of tape uh, is attached to a piece of plastic that sits between the toner and the printer. So you can see in the instructions, uh, if you bother to read them, which of course I didn't, but um, now reading them properly, these three pictures show that you actually have to remove the toner before you can pull that piece of tape out with the orange plastic on. And we'll see all of that as we go along. So the toner itself as with as is common with a lot of these sort of printers small um, printers which uh, load the toner from the top 
the toner sits in two grooves which are arc shaped, one on either side. So to remove it, you grab hold of it as you can see and then slide it upwards and you can see the, the sort of gentle arc as it, um, as it comes up. And you can put that to one side and now you can see more fully the piece of uh, blue tape is attached to this orange plastic section which is obviously just for transit. It uh, just sort of separates the toner from the body of the printer while the printer's in, in the box in transit. And that comes out. And then you can replace the toner. That goes back in its slot on either side and pushes down firmly into the printer. Okay, so that's the toner replaced. The next job is to put the paper in. And again, as is common with printers of this type and size, there are two little guides uh, which you just slide open to the size of paper that you want to fit. And that's relatively straightforward. Little tip here I always give my clients is when you're loading paper, just fan it two or three times um, just to um, make sure that all the paper is free and easy and able to run um, and load into the printer without any jams or anything. And then you can just adjust that, uh, that side piece in so it's gently gripping the paper but it doesn't really want to be gripping it uh, in any big way, it needs to flow freely through. So. The next thing moving on, as you can see on the right hand side of the install document, these two pictures here and this one, there's a little flap here which lifts up and that actually is a guide for the paper that comes out of the laser printer. Um, so that's now ready to plug in the mains, so we have the mains lead at the back it's a standard kettle lead which comes with it as we saw with the unboxing so plug that in and turn on the wall and then there is a power button stroke light on the right hand side which you press and you can just see in the picture that's just come on and what will happen now is it'll go through a sort of warming up phase where the white light is on for um, a short period and then it starts to blink as you can see there and it blinks with the uh, red exclamation mark underneath it so don't be alarmed at this point there isn't a problem uh, but that's just a close-up of it uh, and it's just telling you that it's basically warming up after about two minutes or so you'll move on to um, the next stage which is where the blue uh, wireless light will flash. So I've shortened this video somewhat but you can see that this does flash for quite some time uh, but uh, as I say it's a little bit longer than I've shown in the video I've cut some of that out uh, and soon we'll see the blue wireless light flashing which is just at the top there and that means it's ready to talk to um, the wireless router or your wireless device. Now I'm setting this up from my computer and there are various different ways of doing this. As I said earlier on, the sheet that you get with it with the quick codes on means that you can set it up from an iPad or a um, or a phone. But I'm actually going to the to the HP website and typing in the name of the printer and clicking on the download and you'll see the download is starting to happen in the bottom left hand corner there. So you could do this via a smart device or via a smartphone or iPad but I'm doing this to set it up from the computer. Once you've set it up from the computer and set it up as a wireless network printer connected to your router you can then 
use your iPad or your iPhone or your phone or whatever or the computer to print. So this method means that it's actually getting set up correctly or properly in my mind anyway uh, as a network device on your network and then you can choose how you want to print. So this is the way I would advise doing it if you if you have a PC available. So we're going to open the file and it extracts the setup program and you'll see it go through the start of the setup process. Now at this point it will prompt you, it'll prompt you for some um, agreements, you have to tick the boxes to agree and then it'll ask you whether you want to set it up as a USB printer or a wireless network connection. So we're selecting wireless network and then it'll ask whether the printer is already on the network, in other words you're just setting up the software having set up the printer on the network already or whether you actually want to do that job now so I'm clicking that I want to do that now and th at this point you need to connect the printer to the computer just just for once once only with a USB cable so just literally use the cable that came with it and connect the computer to the printer and click next and very soon you'll see it'll scan for the available uh, networks so hit your network and type the password in that's just typing the password in for my router and it will take a while for it then to connect so this is the printer connecting to your wireless uh, router the reason this bit has to be done with a computer is there's no display on the printer because it's obviously built to a budget. There's no display to help you to um, to connect up. So it's using the screen of the computer as an interface for you to put in the key uh, and uh, connect up. So once that's done, as you can see, it'll guide you to unplug the USB lead. I didn't bother showing the USB lead plugging in because literally you've just got to plug the lead into the back of the printer and, and into the computer. Uh, so once that's done, as I say, you remove that and then you can choose which bits of the software you want to install. I normally only install the driver, but you can choose to install both if you want to. And click on next and you'll see that go through very quickly. And that's installing the software, the driver software on the PC for the new printer. But the new printer is now already on the wireless network and could be accessed from an iPad or iPhone or whatever. So this is just the extra bit of actually setting it up on the uh, on the computer as a as a printer, as a print queue. And when you get to the end of this section, it will ask if you'd like to do a test print. And you can see that's now set up. And we can say, yes, we do want to print a test page. And then it'll actually start to send the print job. And you can see uh, that going through in the bottom right hand corner there. And it's actually then going to show you the status of the printer. You can see it's saying printing, there's a green tick. And also it's showing the supplies information that the toner is 100% um, sort of uh, unused if you like. So the test print has been sent and you'll see very shortly on the right hand side the white power light will start to flash as the uh, data comes through from the, uh, from the computer via the wireless link. And as I say, you can print from anything you want to at this point. So there's the test page. And apologies for the poor focus, but the, uh, the print quality, as you'd expect from any laser, is very, very good. Indeed, it's very sharp. It's only mono, uh, but um, for a lot of people, that's all they need for a basic workhorse printer. And uh, yes, I'm uh, very happy with the... Uh, with the quality of the print. 
So there you go, that's, uh, that's all set up and you could then access that from your iPad or iPhone or whatever you want to print from. You could of course just set it up as a USB printer in the first place, uh, so not bother with the Wi-Fi. Uh, but I chose to uh, to do that for the purposes of the of the video. So yes, I'm going to do a, um, a follow up video probably in a few weeks' time to let you know how I'm getting on with it. But so far so good. I've printed from three devices and everything's worked okay. And as I say, the print quality is very good. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the various places that you hopefully can get hold of this. As I said earlier, there is quite a big problem. Um, getting hold of these just at the moment in uh, February 21. Um, I managed to get mine in the end from Argos, but there are various sellers on eBay uh, selling it at the moment. So I'll put some links within the video or in the notes. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps me a lot um, with my channel and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.